Greatest shooter of all time, that's no other than Steph Curry. But one of the largest turnovers on the Warriors, that's also Steph Curry. With the Warriors currently 18-22 and 22 on the season, it's clear that a lot has not gone well for them this season. And one of the specific things that have plagued their star players, and Steph Curry specifically, is the turnovers. In this specific film review, we're going to go over all of the little details on why Steph Curry turns the ball over so much, and the specific plays he does it, so that hopefully in the second half of the season we can see less turnovers from Steph Curry, one of the superstars of the NBA. Right here in this pivotal game where the Warriors played the Memphis Grizzlies without John Morant, Desmond Bain, and other key players, they end up losing this game right here. You see Steph Curry is going to have the ball on the break, and he has a fast break here where only Jaron Jackson Jr. is kind of left. He, Jaron Jackson Jr. in this play, it seems like, is trying to block Dario Saric as well as Steph Curry with two kind of trailing Memphis defenders. It seems like the obvious pass right here is either to Dario Saric to kind of suck up Jaron Jackson Jr. into guarding him, and then he quickly passes it back to Steph Curry, or kind of a looping pass over to Klay Thompson. But that's kind of a tougher pass with this Memphis defender kind of coming right into clear view. And obviously with the length of the Memphis Grizzlies, you know, it can be tough to kind of layer that pass over the corner. Now, Steph Curry tries, it seems like, to make that risky pass towards Steph Curry. It definitely has been a theme of the season where Steph Curry tries the riskier passes. That's why his turnover to assist ratio is so high and why he turns the ball over so often. He tries the passes where if this pass were to be completed, that's an easy three-point shot to clay, if not an easy layup right here where Jaron Jackson Jr. is really in no place to kind of contest. But whenever it goes bad, it goes horribly and terribly bad. This is a three-on-two scenario initially, really a three-on-one scenario, and Steph Curry is going to kind of commit a turnover right here as they end up getting the ball back. And that's kind of been the issue that the Warriors have been facing this season. In this next clip right here, we're going to see the Warriors have Kaminga and they have Looney kind of at the top of the key. This is like probably a, the, one of the more standard plays that the Warriors run. We have Clay kind of coming up to the three-point line hoping to get a shot. We have Looney right here kind of setting a pick. You see Valanchunas. He's kind of in like this drop position, not in a very good position to contest Steph Curry for that three-point shot if he gets over here. And so McCollum in this clip specifically is going to have to commit to guarding Steph Curry. And this leaves Valanchunas also kind of having to like make Steph Curry stop a little bit just so that McCollum can kind of catch up and get around that screen that Looney set. But this is going to allow Looney kind of some room right here to kind of get open. But I think what Steph Curry forgets here is Looney's not the quickest of feet, and he kind of struggles um, in terms of getting to the basket and also just spacing in general. Um, it's probably one of Looney's weakest points. And so Steph Curry, something that's going to become a theme here throughout this film review, is that he often makes the pass a little quicker than he probably should. He probably should wait an extra beat, but instead kind of makes the pass as soon as he sees it, thinking that his players are fast and athletic, but that's not the case with a lot of these players that he makes mistake with, like Looney and like Klay Thompson. They're just not as athletic as they once were. And so he tries to make this like wraparound pass on Valanchunas because Valanchunas is doing a good job of stopping him. CJ McCollum is a, doing a good job of, in case he takes a step back, he'll be right in that position. And this kind of leaves Looney wide open towards the basket. And so he kind of tries to lay this ball in, but kind of lays it a little bit too far, as you see right there. It's he's Looney's in really no position to get this ball and it's way too far out. If he placed it like about like maybe a couple inches this way, that's an easy dunk for Looney. Um, but Steph Curry kind of causes this turnover by, you know, kind of thinking that Looney is a little bit more athletic. I feel like that's the big issue here specifically in this clip. In this next clip right here, we see Steph Curry kind of taking the ball up, you know, normal kind of court action, no fast break, no nothing, just kind of getting the ball out of the basket, so to say. And Steph Curry kind of sees Klay Thompson here at the three-point line. I think he kind of looks at him like a second before, kind of sees that maybe I can make this pass for hopefully a good three-pointer. All of the other Pelicans besides the one guarding Klay Thompson aren't really looking at him. This guy's looking this way. Valanchun is looking at him. Herb Jones is looking directly at Steph Curry. So he feels like maybe I can catch the defense unawares. But I think at this point, you know, McCollum is very aware that he's played Steph Curry probably at least 20 times by now and is very aware that, you know, Klay Thompson is an elite shooter by the three-point line. And, you know, he, Steph Curry, I don't think, saw him in this clip. And that's that's part of what Steph Curry kind of struggles with sometimes. Sometimes his court vision isn't the best. Um, 
juxtaposed with somebody like CP3 who has the highest assist to turnover ratio and is, you know, bit, has had stretches where he's had 16 assists and zero turnovers. You know, he definitely sees the floor better than Steph Curry, but he's not willing to make, you know, the risky passes that Steph Curry makes and this is one of those types of risky passes if it ends up getting to clay thompson that's definitely like a wide open or a well-drawn three-point shot that he can easily make over a smaller cj mccollum he makes the pass a little bit too late or in a pass that he probably shouldn't have made whatsoever and it ends up being a turnover and a steal versus the pelicans now on this clip right here arguably versus like kind of an inferior pistons team Steph Curry's kind of dribbling the ball. He's guarded by Amin Thompson in this specific play. He gives the ball to CP3, who before he broke his hand, they were using primarily as a point guard, which I think really helped the Warriors kind of limit some of the turnovers. And CP3 is kind of weirdly guarded by Marvin Bagley in this specific play. Um, CP3 kind of throws it to Steph off of kind of this loony side screen, so to say, off ball screen, we can call it here. And Steph Curry is going to kind of be open. CP3 just kind of juxtapose him with Steph. This is a perfect pass, right? He sees that Amin Thompson's not looking at him. So he throws the pass between him and kind of the screener, makes it so that, you know, Steph Curry has a lot of room on this side. And even if he doesn't grab it, there's a lot of room here for kind of Clay maybe to grab it. And this is just a really safe pass. And this is fundamental basketball that the Warriors like to see. So Steph Curry easily gets this pass. He, he looks like for Steph Curry, I mean, this is definitely a three point shot that's possible. So Thompson's looking directly at him. And Looney really has an advantage kind of going to the paint as there's nobody, as you see, in this painted area. And so Looney definitely has an advantage. And Steph Curry is kind of going to recognize that right here, try to kind of layer the pass in right here. But once again, this comes back to the the point that Looney is just not as lethic as he used to be. And Steph Curry, I think, tries to preempt him. He treats Looney a little bit like he's Kaminga or somebody who can really catch up to the ball. And you already see kind of Steph Curry like being like, ooh, I don't think so. Like, ooh, I don't think so. I don't know if that's going to really work out as soon as he kind of releases the pass. And what you see right here is he kind of hits it off of Looney's leg and it's really just not a good pass whatsoever. And that ends up being kind of a terrible turnover for Steph Curry versus, you know, an inferior Pistons team, so to say. In this last grip right here, we have an inbounds play where Brandon Pajemski is going to kind of give it to Steph Curry. Marcus Sasser is going to be guarding him. And he kind of goes for this steal like behind the back a little bit and tries to kind of hit it off of Steph Curry. And this is just kind of one of those plays that happens sometimes, but I feel like it's been happening more this year specifically for the Warriors where Steph Curry's just been a little loose with his dribble and it kind of leads to an out of bounds turnover where he's able to hit it off of Steph Curry and it goes out of bounds. And this is something I feel like we haven't really seen in the past regular seasons. I feel like in general, Steph Curry has a pretty good handle on things like this. Obviously, this game is a little bit, you know, it's out of play. The Warriors are up six with less than like 20 seconds left to go. But still, it kind of reflects a bigger problem on the season where we've definitely been a turnover prone team this year. And the Warriors are normally top five in the, in the league in terms of turnovers, but this year specifically, the turnovers are hurting us more as our talent. I think the talent gap between teams has lessened specifically in the Western Conference this year. And as the Warriors have kind of lost that young athletic um, center and Looney is seemingly kind of fell off a cliff as well as Andrew Wiggins. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching and listening. Please comment below your thoughts on Steph Curry's turnovers and what you think about the Warriors this season. Obviously a lot of turmoil and thank you guys for listening.